Okay, in this video right here, I'm going to show you how to export your tracks as stems using Digital Performer. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is call your session up here, and you want to make sure you're in the Tracks Overview window, which is this tab right here that says Tracks. And you'll see all your tracks laid out. And uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to do what they call Merge Your Sound Bites. And there's two different ways you can do this. You can hold the command key down and while you're holding the command key down then press the A key okay now all your tracks have been highlighted uh, now that's one way you're doing it that gets everything now the other way is you may not want to include all your tracks you may just want some of those so I'm gonna show you I'm just gonna include the ones right here you what you do is you click on your select tool then you just draw a rectangle around the tracks that you want to include and you'll see them light up and then once you do that that's the second way okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna use the first way because I want to include everything so I'm gonna go back and hit command a then you want to go up to the top up here you'll see file edit view region audio so forth you want to click on audio and drop down till you see merge sound bites and click on this now what that's doing now is it's merging your sound bytes. It's creating one large, well, one long continuous audio file for each track. And it's including the silence from the very beginning of the song as a placekeeper. So the person you're sending this to is going to be able to get it and line everything up to the very left and everything should hit exactly where it has to hit. Okay, we got one more track now okay now that looks to be done now so then you want to go over to your sound bites window I'm on sound bites right now and this is the little window you want to be on then you want to click on where it says name right here you click on that and hold it and then click on time created drop down till it says time created click on that and that's gonna put the very latest things that you did the very latest edits whatever you did at the very bottom so you scroll down and you're gonna see merge sound bites at the very bottom if you don't see it all resize the window like I just did and you can see source column source right here it's saying this is a merge sound bites source so those are the correct ones so you want to highlight those by drawing a by holding your mouse down and scrolling down on them while you're holding it down and that highlights them then you want to go all the way to the right then you want to go all the way to the right over here uh, you're going to see this little arrow right here you want to cl click on that hold it down then you want to see click on export selected sound bites okay now this is bringing up a uh, a new window now the first thing you want to do actually is to tell it what desktop or, or different hard drive so forth so first thing I should have done was click on desktop that's why I canceled that so I clicked on desktop first then new folder I'm gonna click create now the format right here, I would leave this on broadcast wave interleaved. If you put it on deinterleave, it'll give you a separate left and a right file for some of your stereo tracks. And that's that's not really the best way to go. It's best to kind of like leave your stereo tracks all in one file. Okay, so we have it on broadcast interleaved. And then we're gonna hit choose. And when you hit choose, that basically starts the process. exporting my files okay now I'm gonna hide digital performer and I'm gonna hit click on the folder that says brand new stems now all my tracks are in there if you notice they're all 30.2 megabytes except for the one track which is stereo 
which is a music track. And the reason why that's twice as much because it's stereo. It, it contains left and right. So that's one way you can tell your stereo tracks from your mono tracks too, if you're ever, if you're not sure. And that's how you do it. Well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, please click down below to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.